Welcome back, everyone. We're here again today to, uh, well, fix more stuff up. First of all, I took a screenshot of my uh, books that I have here because uh, we're we're missing some, and I'm to the point where we kind of need them in order to, you know, do stuff. Also, I just noticed I have a Mechanics 2 book. That's a spare, so I'm gonna get rid of one of those. But uh, anyway, here we are. It's it's nine in the morning. I actually set an alarm for once here, in order to, you know, wake up at a decent time. So mechanics one, mechanics two was it that I had a double of? Yeah, mechanics two. Grab that. Anyway, you can see my stats here on the uh, on the left side. Hold on. Pretty sure I left the stove on again. Every time. Uh, you can see my log pile has grown. I did some more lumberjacking here. I also figured out how to do cooking. Uh, apparently you need a specific like pan or pot. Like the frying pan works and the sauce pans work. You just fill them with water and I've been making pasta or, or rice. Um, you can also make cocoa with a mug of water. That's, that's very nice. That's why those are maxed out, but I don't have a cooking two book, unfortunately, so it's just kind of sitting there. And then foraging, I was curious how it worked, so I went and uh, looked up how to do it. And what you do is you just click this little uh, magnifying glass icon over here. And then, hold on, I'm going to drop the book before I forget. Why are there jeans on the floor? <laughs> anyway... So you click this little magnifying icon, it pops this thing up, and you hit enable search mode. And you basically just walk around, and uh, as you walk, you'll randomly find certain things that aren't actually in the world, but they'll like they'll get like spawned in all those. Like this, for example, right here. So we found, what is this? A caterpillar. I'm just going to discard it, because I don't really want a caterpillar. But as you can see, I gained a little of experience there, so... I just walked around my, my compound here with this for a little bit and, you know, leveled it up. It was very easy. It barely took any time. I also found a fast way to level up first aid, which we'll be doing at the end of this video because of certain reasons. Um, mechanics, as you can see, leveled up pretty decently from the last time when we were messing around with it. And let me... Oh, crap. I haven't turned that off. There we go. Okay. So let me show you how easy it is to level up mechanics. Maybe. I don't have the tools on myself right now. But anyway, you can... um. Actually, I can do this right now. So you can just uninstall the battery. There's no chance of degradation on it. So you just uninstall the battery, reinstall it. You can uninstall this radio, and then reinstall it. And those two things don't break, basically. Um, they don't degrade at all. So you can just keep doing that. Uh, however, you can only do it once per car per day and get decent experience. After that, I basically just gone around to those white cars, removed the window, removed the door, put the door back on, put the window back in, to all four of the doors that they had there, removed the hood and the windshield, put them back in, removed the muffler, the back window, put those back in, and obviously I couldn't do anything else with uh, that stuff. So anyway, that's what I was doing to level that up uh, a little bit here. So if we find a cool car that has a decent thing on it, we can take it also. Take a look at this car because as you can see here it's a little bit busted the, the hood was in much better condition than this but because we hit a couple of zombies unfortunately that's just kind of how it goes also to repair the engine we need a wrench some spare engine parts and mechanics four so it'll be way down there we're gonna have to make it last then um, also, trunk repairs requires a metal sheet, but also a propane torch and metalworking three. So we can't even do that until we level up metalworking, which means we need to go out and, uh, well, level up metalworking by destroying metal stuff. So I think what our plan is going to be for today. Uh, you also might notice I leveled up sprinting by just running between stuff here. And uh, yeah, that's about everything that kind of went down. Mainly just did the log pile and foraging stuff. So, opening up the map. Remember, we need to smoke to lower our anxiety, or else we're always going to have like a baseline low anxiety, right? So, we need cigarettes. And the places around here that I think we could get cigarettes would be a gas station, 
the cop shop and uh, I think maybe the motel or lighter specifically what we need not cigarettes but uh those would be the places that I think would have them I'm just not entirely sure then also I do want to come back up to the mechanic shop we had up here that had all those tools and metal sheets and stuff in it and really get that too I think that would be uh, an excellent use of our time here so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this main road here we're just gonna kind of go down here and then to this uh, this black building which I don't remember what it is we might take a look at that depending upon what it uh, turns out to be uh, and then we'll just kind of keep going down hit up this gas station loot it and and see what happens so let's just uh let's do that let's go out and it's been a minute since we've you know gone outside so hopefully we're not doing too bad here right all right in the ignition power on let's rock and roll look at that all right so like i said i do want to eventually like kind of fortify this entrance here but i'm just not sure how to go about doing it since i don't really want to cause problems here i do want to also see if i can like scrap anything from those and those two i would like to get them out of the way i don't know if you can move vehicles though gotta carefully pass them Shit. I just hit the fence. That's not great. Gotta turn this corner. And then let's switch to health because we don't need to look at that. Oh, is the black thing a church? Is that what that was? No. We're not past that yet. Okay. I remember we saw the church previously. I don't want to go too fast here. This is the other black icon. Is it just another station here? It is. It's a storage area. We could check this out. No reason not to. Now that we know a little bit about foraging, we could even potentially... Uh, do some foraging here. Oh, by the way, in the back of the trunk, I have a welder mask, a propane torch, and a wrench, just in case we you know, find anything that could be useful here. Well, let's start by heading into this place to see if they have any keys lying around. I doubt they would, but you never know. I have a beer bottle and stuff. That's nice. You know what? I think I might just eat these. Oh, they're stale. Never mind. Plenty of food stuff, though. Let's see, what do we got here? Anything in the, uh... I have plenty of those. We're not going to worry too much about that. Okay, we're also looking for, uh... Garbage cans. Or garbage bags, I should say. Those would be, uh, nice to have. There we go. I'll take that. Because that way we can make more rain collectors. And I think we're going to need a couple more of them, so... It would be useful to have. All right, so while we're here, I'm going to just enable the search mode. And we're going to walk around here to see if maybe anyone dropped their keys to their storage units, right? That one's locked. That one's locked. What's in this? Plaster powder. Okay. Locked. Locked. Are any of these going to be open? I wonder if I could, if I have the plasma, well, maybe I need the sledgehammer to break those down. What do you think? I think that would be how I do those. Well, I can disassemble the door. Did y'all see that? A zombie in there that heard me. Hold on, we gotta put the hunting spear back here.
That could be promising. We could at least scrap all that stuff for uh, carpentry experience. I know I saw a zombie here. Got to be careful where uh, they are. There they are. Got them. Something on the ground right here with my uh, foraging saw. I'm not going to go forward if they're coming to me and that one's just still messing with the door. Okay. Nice and easy. Y'all got any keys on your bodies? I think that might be very useful if you did. Got a satchel. I don't think that's going to be very helpful, though. finish clear in this area. I do hear, I think, a zombie knocking on a door somewhere. I think it's this door. Yep. Got anything on you, sir? Nada. Entrance right here. It is. And the music's a little intense, considering nothing's happening right now. Oh, a generator. I'm gonna enable search mode while we're gonna be looting this stuff. So bleach, bleach, just a lot of bleach, huh? I'll take this box of nails. Um, rest we'll leave there. Cleaning liquid. Don't think we need that. What's this last box here? Have more cleaning liquid. Okay. We don't really need that. What do we got in uh, this area? Wooden chairs. I, I could, like, take those and destroy them, but I mean, nothing really too bad in here. This place would be a good area to come back to uh, once we learn the next carpentry book. And then we can... I'll take that bucket. I don't have a bucket yet. That could come in handy. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, if we... Uh, come back here again with a carpentry book once we have the, uh, you know, extra stats for carpentry there. We could come back here and all the furniture that's in these places just tear them down. Oh, this one opened. A tent kit. Hmm. I don't think I really need that. I'll take that metal sheet, though. And we have the generator, which... Uh, info. No fuel, okay. If it had fuel, I would siphon some from it, but... Since it does not, no point. Plaster powder, don't care. Desktop computer, I'll disassemble that. That way we can get some electronics skill. Yep, no parts, that's fine. Oh, my hunting spear, of course, got dis... Uh, equipped. All right. All right. Dead empty room. And we got a bunch of boxes here. Plastic chair, uh, ball peen hammer, metal sheets, welding rods. I'll take these. Plastic chair, wooden chair. Problem is I can't get past that to search further into the uh, the rest of them. 
If I had a sledgehammer, I could get past there. I might have to come back another time. See that little question mark? That means foraging has found something there. Ooh, hold on. There's some electrical parts. A V2 remote. Improvised device used to remotely detonate bombs and traps. Okay, I'll take that. Um, electronics. We have volume 5. Where did this radio transmitter come from? Was that always here? I can't seem to... If I put it in my main inventory, can I uh, place it? Hmm. How much of that way? Barely anything. I'll hold on to it. Anyway, we have Electronics version 1. Do we have version 2? We do not. I mean, we do. I mean, but we have volume 5 as well, so that's all fine. Next room. Empty. Next room. We have some stuff here, it looks like. Ooh, we got some more farming equipment and seeds. I don't think we had carrots, which is great. We also have strawberry here. Uh... I don't think we really need a jar of lid, so never mind that. All right, what's this thing that's dropped here? It looks like a tent pole, maybe. But that's all that is. It's a straw. Okay, we're just going to discard that, which gives us experience either way, so that's nice for us. Game okay, is not useful, though. We have a couple of sheets. I'll take them. I don't think we can make sheets, at least from what I'm aware of. Uh, mechanics. We have a volume one and two, scrap metal. Um, I'll leave the tools behind, I don't need them. Uh, let's see, trapping volume four, have that. Tailoring volume two, do we have tailoring volume two? We do. Foraging volume two, I know we need that one. And then we'll grab these books. Oh man, we'll grab these books. Go. What about these things back here? Suit, pants, and needle. Well, we already got enough needles and stuff back there, so... I think we've already read a West Point thing, so... I will take these planks. Because three planks, am I right? Nothing else in here. Uh, I don't think I have a trowel. I'll take the trowel. Definitely uh, come back here and get rid of a lot of stuff. Can I get past that and look at those back there? No. Was there anything in this bookshelf? No. Uh, we have a wooden mallet, a hammer. Oh, here we go. I can get back here. Forging volume 5. Do I have that? I do not. Let's grab that one. I'll also grab this hunting knife. Everything else I think we can just leave. I kind of want the sheet metal. I think I can carry all of it without too much hassle. I say as I get overweight, and now I'm injuring myself as I move. I'm going to grab this garbage bag. Okay. Let's disable search mode so I can run a little bit faster. Let's get to the vehicle and drop some stuff off so I'm not hurting myself while I'm moving. Okay. Um... Dump the metal sheets. Get rid of the plank. The books. The garbage bag. The hunting knife. Oh, we're maxed out now? Okay. Can the trowel fit? Nope. I'm just going to grab everything here and we're just going to slide it over there and that'll take care of all that. Alright, let's put what we can into the next seat over here. Perfect. And then book, book, we're going to the glove box now. We don't have any more room. There we go. All right. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and roll, open up our map. Put that there. So now we have that open. We've already started, or we've just started, and we're already at the point where we're uh, 
a little bit overweight here in terms of what this vehicle can carry. But let's go to the gas station anyway. I want to be careful we don't run into anything we don't want to hit. What's this place? I haven't searched here before. Let's take a look. I have those two zombies and it looks like that's it. Looks like it's some sort of warehouse or something, so it could be a better version of, uh, or a closer version of the place up north, which would be nice if that's the case. We can also take a look at this uh, taxi or delivery vehicle, whatever it is. Nothing on her. I see you there. Come here. Come to Papa. God, I love the uh, spears. Okay. Enable search mode once again here. As I move around. Oh, what's this? A chipped stone. I'm just going to discard that. It's, oop, hold on. Plastic bag in the trunk, huh? What about in the vehicle? What do we got here? Do we have a key? No, we have a Louisville map, which I think we've already read before. Um, No key for the car. That's fine. How does its uh, inner workings look? Not too shabby. I mean, it's not the greatest, but some of the parts are okay if we needed them. One door's locked, but the other's not, huh? I'm gonna close it behind us. <clears throat> Let's disable search mode because it makes things darker and uh, it's not great for us when we're clearing a building. Okay, last room is this bathroom, so anyone in here? Nope, perfect. All right, let's grab this uh, garbage bag. What else do we got in here? Adhesive bandages, painkillers, excellent. We could use some food, so if there's anything in this uh, fridge, might as well fill up our water bottle and whatnot. Okay, let's see. We have a nice little microwave we can use, too, if it had food in it. Of course it doesn't. Mm. I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle these real quick. There we go. Easy dismantles for a little bit of experience. Another garbage bag. And then we have a piece of tape. I'm not sure if anything is used or if that's useful for anything, but... Never hurts to check. More adhesive tape. A crossword, staples, uh, a hole puncher, pen, money. I don't really need money, so that's not a big deal. Okay. Now, what kind of warehouse is this? Oh, it looks like it's mostly just tools and other uh, gardening supplies as well, which is nice. Um, I guess I'll just take all the seeds that we I meant to put it in the bag, but whatever. If you ever need hand axes, we know where to come. God dang. Paintbrush. I can't get to the ones in the back without tearing them apart, but I don't really have the stuff to do that quite yet. Those. Let's see. The materials there. Okay. I'm going to take the materials that are in this shelf and I'm just going to put them into one of these boxes. Because I want to tear down these shelves since they're metal shelves. I just need to get my propane torch and welding mask out of the vehicle. Let's see. Grab those. Grab those. 
More planks, god dang. I don't think I necessarily need to get any more blanks. Um, another welding mask. Actually, if I can <clears throat> find a welding mask and stuff here, I have a propane torch. I could just cut down that without having to go out to the truck. I need to find a jack as well, remember. If we can find a jack... We can take the tires off the vehicles. I can also probably disable or disassemble all these metal shelves for uh, loot. Or for uh, that one experience. Yeah, you know. Metalworking experience. More boxes of nails. Wait, what was that? A snow shovel. No snow at the moment, so I don't think we really care about that. Ooh, a machete. I haven't had one of those yet. I'll grab it. We're just a little overweight, but that's fine. Still haven't found a propane torch either. Ooh, there we go. There's one. Let's grab that. And the welding mask. I can come over here. I could even disassemble these. Oh, we're just going to disassemble the uh, metal shelf in here. There we go. I'm getting a little hungry now. Wait, there was a box here. Should I search this box? Okay. Last row of shelves. I just thought I saw some duct tape. Hold on. What was that at? There it is. And a box of screws. Alright, alright. Not with the tire pumps. Give me a jack or something, huh? Or duct tape. Screwdriver, leaf rake, nails, and more duct tape. Okay, well, get back to the car before our legs decide to just go flut. Wait, the trunk's already full. In the vehicles, go! It's nice that I'm not, like, getting hurt while I'm just sitting here, you know? Okay. Let's grab everything we can out of the backpack and put it into the uh, glove box because we still had a little bit of stuff there. And same with the uh, glove box. We'll just push what we can into there. Okay, now it's full. And then we'll go ahead and take what we can from our main inventory and put it back into the backpack to reduce our weight even further. And now it's full. Okay. What was that? Okay. Do we want to head back home or check out what other this what this box is? Anyway, I'm going to put some, uh, we had gears at the last place, right? What were the gears? I can never find the icons I want here, you know? All right, we'll put that down there because it's like a machine-ish kind of thing there. Um, I'll top out. I'll try this place. We'll just have to disassemble the door then. What you get? I find it hard to believe that a uh, welding mask is weighing more than 
a hockey, well, uh, uh, this hard hat and this mask I got on way more than the welding mask does. Because I keep getting overweight when I'm switching between them, you know? Travel bag nails. This is just more of the same. It might just be more of the same, which is fine. Wood glue. I'll take that. Just immediately. Hopefully I can find some more wood glue, then I can repair this uh, spear. There we go. Nice. There are so many tools in here. It's it's absolutely insane. I'm gonna leave those broccoli seeds. We already have so much broccoli seeds. It uh it just does not matter at this point. All right, come on, have something in you. No, why is there? There's never any food when you want it, right? I wonder if I could eat these seeds. Get better then. What about over here? Another machete. More wood glue. Nice. Okay. Take a second. Where's my spear at? There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and repair it with some wood glue, which will give me 20%, a 23% increase to its life here. I can do that again to give it 20, which will really help out in the long run there. And I do it again, and but it's only 19% increase this time. That as well. Excellent. Okay. Take a look at the second floor. I don't think we're going to find anything up here, but... Yep, nope. Let's go ahead and just fill our water bottle and then take a drink from it. Slurpy slurp. Okay. All right, well, unfortunately, we didn't make it very far to where we wanted to go. I think we need to turn back and uh, attempt to drop some stuff off. That way, when we actually find stuff, we can, you know, do whatever. Also, we're a little bit tired and hungry, so I should probably do that anyway. Fuck! Oh. Okay, space is an e-brake. I just had to check. I wasn't sure. So, uh, I could've hit that instead of, like, swerving all over the place. Hey, bud. have to be careful about these. I would like to get a vehicle and try to push these out of the way, but I'm not sure if that works. Alternatively, we could remove all that stuff. Disassemble it. Alright. Home sweet home. See what we can out of the glove box first here, since that's just the least amount of what we're carrying. Okay, out we go. Quickly run inside and dump this stuff so we don't hurt ourselves too much, anyway. I get the plank out, I should be fine. There we go. Okay. Now that we can put the garbage bags there. We can put the duct tape in there. The nails can go in here. What do we got in our backpack? Nails, screws, the battery, that stuff. Oop. What else has room here? There should be another one. There we go. And then we have the tools we picked up. Car parts. 
Here we go. Okay. I think other than the cabbage seeds, we've gotten everything out of our inventory that needs to go inside here. Oh, the book. Right, the book. Here we go. I think I'll start a, uh, a little medical area down here, too, so I don't have to go upstairs all the time to use it. That way it's just easier to be down here. And then forging volume 5 needs to go over here into this crate. Here we go. I don't know why I like backed up all of a sudden, but okay. Over to this crate. We can dump all of the gardening stuff into here. I forgot to put away the disinfectant. <sighs> Maybe I should make some like dump chests, you know what I'm saying? Give me half of these bandages. I just want four. Okay. Now, I can kind of show you how I was cooking things. So, we'll take our saucepan of water. We're going to add rice into it. We take them out. We combine them here. And we can create rice. We want to... Uh, add a little bit of pepper. That'll increase our, our happiness with it. Alright, so now that we have a little pepper, let's go ahead and throw it into the oven. Then we can go ahead and turn it on. And then watch as it gets cooked. And it is done. Right? Yep, it's done. And I can remember to turn the fucking stove off so it doesn't give us issues. And we can take our fresh cooked rice and we can add uh, some soy sauce onto it. So it's rice with soy sauce, freshly cooked. And is there anything else I want to add onto it first? I don't want to add a random condiment or that. I think tomato paste would ruin it and mustard we don't really need. So that's kind of what that is. We'll go ahead and eat all of it because we are very hungry. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do much for us, but it's the, the first cooking thing. So we're just going to fill everything. And I'll go ahead and put the saucepan back away. And then we'll just eat some other stuff here. So what do we have that's uh, good to eat? Why don't we eat a mint candy to help our uh, selves a little bit here? Ooh, mac and cheese. Let's eat all of one of those. That's uh, plus 40 hunger, so that should be good. Well, negative 40, but, you know. Perfect. Good to go. How tired are we? Inhumanly tired. Okay. Let's sleep first, then we'll unload everything. I'm going to set my alarm. Rock and roll. All right, we'll just hit a five. I was waking up at 7 a.m., so it's uh, bright outside. Okay. Get the rest of our goodies. No, what, what, what did I just press? He was heading around to the front by himself for some reason. Yep. Take care of all that. Back around to the back side. And everything else I want to keep in the trunk. Unfortunately. We definitely need to hit up that gas station in order to fill the gas cans. Just so I'm not carrying uh, a bunch of them with me. You know. Okay, let's see. First of all, let's go down here. 
put the plank away. Along with that stuff. Okay, garbage bag as well. Put all that. I gotta put the smaller stuff wherever it'll fit. This one's trying to shove everything into the big crate when we have some smaller ones available, right? You mean to tell me the small sheet of metal couldn't fit in there, but... The other stuff could. Seems odd. Okay. Let's go over here, drop off this book. And then we need to drop off our foraging book that we found here. We could actually read it, but... I don't know if I want to spend time reading it while we're recording here. There's no point in really doing it. So, I think we'll be fine. How much weight are we carrying right now? Ten? Okay. Let's take all of this. Put it into our main inventory. run it all outside because I feel like a bucket uh, would be good to have out here. Well, we'll just put it out here so that way I can collect some rain too if it does rain. We'll take all of our gardening stuff and dump it into there. All right, let's rock and roll. Close the door. There we go. That door's closed. I just had to make sure. And then let's check the trunk. Okay. I do have a spare spear in here too, just in case this one breaks, because I, uh, I know how weak the spears can get. So. Alright, let's head out. If I do find another working car that has keys somewhere, I think I'll take it and I'll just try to run these two uh, vehicles off the road a little bit further rather than just leaving them there. That way we can go back uh, by faster and stuff. But anyway, let's hit up the gas station. Hopefully uh, avoid as many zombie hits as we can so we don't cause damage to our vehicle. That would be annoying and wide swipe from there. That was my bad. The old Jeep ain't doing gonna ain't gonna be doing too well if I keep that up. Okay. So we're passing that area. We're not gonna worry about it. I think it's the next right turn. Well, our right. There's also that rifle place there that I want to check out. That could possibly have a lighter and some stuff related to smoking on it. Okay. Take a look. Do we have any zombies around? Not that I can see. Okay, we're gonna go around this way. So I think the gas tank's on this side. Okay. He's off. That's good so far. I'm gonna take these gas cans. Okay. Gas pump. Big fuel. Fill all. Hold up. I'm gonna put these gas cans in here now. Okay. Oops, not that. Fill them all. Yep. 
get them back into the trunk. Where apparently only one will fit. Well, no matter, I'll just put the rest of them into the uh, passenger side here, and then the one I'm carrying as well. Ooh, we got some wolves out there, huh? No, I think while we're in the car, I'm gonna just... Uh, oops, not the lighter. I'm just gonna have a real quick smoke to uh, calm our nerves, since we're a little bit nervous and jittery. Then we can equip our spear and uh, all that good jazz. Smoking next to a uh, gas pump, that's not ideal. Wash vehicle. Let's see. Um, is the gas tank on the other side or am I too far away? Maybe I'm too far away. Hold on. I would like to fuel my vehicle up as well, please. Hello? Maybe it's on the other side. Maybe I forgot which uh, direction I had parked it in last time we were here. I also want to check that black car down there. That could have uh, something for us. You know. Okay. Keys off. Excuse me. Refuel from gas pump. There we go. I was just being a little finicky for some reason. All right. Take this garbage bag so we can make more rain collectors. Let's take a look at this car. Locked. Okay. How about we forage? Just enable search mode for a second here. Okay. The trunk's open. Nice. I could potentially just pop off the window and the door if... Uh, want to do that. I'll need the screwdriver. I need the wrench, though. Uh, come here. All right. Left door. Time for you to come uninstalled. Failed. 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 Come on, I know I only have like a, a what? A 50% chance, but come on. There we go. Door is gone, so now I can get in without a problem. Matches. I'll take those. I can use those to smoke. I also got a battery. I'll take that. Sadly, no key, though. Fine. Might as well reinstall this door so I'm not carrying it around with me. And the window two. I said, and the window two. There we go. Then I'll put this wrench back. There we go. Let's go ahead and re-equip the other thing. There we go. All right. Now let's check the gas station. I'm gonna enable search. Well, no, let's, let's not enable search mode yet. Let's check the bathroom because there's always always a zombie in a bathroom in a gas station, right? Let's check the office first then. I guess the back room, not the office, but whatever. All right, we think of then the male or female. All right, we got a zombie and the female one there. Yeah. No. Well, I'll be. No zombie in the restrooms. Christmas miracle. All right, anyway. Now then I can start uh, by enabling that. Isn't this a dumpster? I guess that's outside. Remember, ooh, more cigarettes? Hell yeah. We got some free food as well. Might as well just take all of it. There's no reason not to. A Maldrew map. Is that this place? I didn't mean to place. Hold on. No. Where did that 
Where did that go? Hold on. Where did it go? There we go. Read map. I think. Yep, that's this town. Finally, I have the entire place done. The dusty or residential hospitality parks. We don't have any parks in the city, it looks like. Community services, retail, and commercial. All right. So I'll keep that. We can use that later. Uh, mechanics volume one I already have. I'll take this gas can. We can fill it up. No point not taking any gas cans we have, right? More cigarettes. Excellent. If only there was stuff that I could, you know, uh, light stuff with, right? Two more gas cans. God dang. I'm going to real quick go out the back door here. Search this for the garbage bag. Oh, there's two sides to this. Hold on. There we go. Two garbage bags, baby. But yeah, we still haven't gotten our goal of finding uh, lighters and stuff. Metalworking, volume two. Got that one. The farming magazine. Got that one. Good cooking. I don't have that one. The comic book. I'll take that. What else we got here? More candy. Why not take it? Sody pops. Always nice to stock up on non-perishable foods, right? I'll just eat a little bit while we're here. Hopefully, guy doesn't have a peanut allergy. I just hear stuff in my face with all the candy that we have here. Okay, that was all of it. Last stash of... Jeez, this whole rack was just candy, huh? Or the comic book. Those are really good to get stuff up, so I'll, I'll take that. Newspaper. What's this last one? Ooh! Um... Another annotated map. Let's read it. Don't bother wasting my time looking here. Need sledge, gas station. Okay. Nice. I, I don't necessarily need this. So I'm just going to put it back because I'm, I'm, I'm going to forget about it. Let's all be honest here. Can I disassemble this ATM? Not with what I got, at least. Looks like we have more candy here. Oh, that was a uh, health stuff there. I'm going to eat a beef jerky. Nom nom nom. Get some more. More water bottles and stuff. That's nice. Okay. Anything? Ooh, I think I saw some matches right there. Perfect. What I need? There's the rest of these. Surely they got lighters. Every single convenience store I've ever been in sells those like a bunch of lighters right come on no none huh well here's a garbage bag at least that's just messed up oh speaking of garbage bags there's also these two up here oh, cockroaches oh my god okay I'm gonna get in the car, and then I'm gonna just try and dump things that I don't really need to carry right now in here. That way I can hopefully lessen my load a little bit. However, minuscule. Okay. That way I can actually get out and fill these gas cans without too much problem. And there we go. All right. <clears throat> All 
All right, well, the gas station checked out. We uh, able to hit that up. What was the uh, yellow again? I have a map with me, right? Map, 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 map. I wish this, like, thing here was saved to, like, the actual map. Wait, I can edit map markings? Oh. I guess. Can I add a note here? Oh my god, I can. Is there a way to make this smaller, though? Doesn't look like it. Okay. The moving marking requires an eraser. To grab one of those at some point. But first, let's head back home. We have a bunch of fuel coming up with us, so we can nice and easy. Oh, not that one. Do we want to go across? We can nice and easily just, like, power a generator for a while or fill our cars without problems for a good while. Anything else we really need gas for, we're, we're golden on it. Not to mention those two vehicles that are still uh, inoperable, the white ones, because we don't have keys. Those ones could be used uh, for gas, because they have a little bit in their tank, so worst case scenario, right? All these dang zombies getting out on the road. So annoying. That was because they heard me roaming around here with my Jeep, but still. How dare they? Maybe I should just take the taxi that I have here. Well, no, I, I'll, I'll keep the taxi in perfect condition, but if I were to take, say, the, the Bronco that we have, because, I mean, it can't really move right now anyway, right? There wouldn't really be any harm in taking it to do some stuff. I'll just try to bump the cars out of the way, if nothing else, right? But it is in such good condition, though. Right. Okay. Anyway, let us... Got to... If I... Let me go ahead and... Generator info. All right, I already put fuel in it. That's right. Okay, well, in that case, um, gas can, place item. this one here and then this one we can place here hopefully it doesn't just evaporate on me right we got some matches and a lighter now and also got this pen i think i actually have an eraser down here right i thought i did well anyway we have some uh medical supplies i can toss into here Plenty of matches now, so that's excellent for us. Open both hands, please. Thank you. All right. Let's go toss this map where we put the rest of our maps at. We have that here in case we die horribly. Okay. Next, we'll sort out all of our food and just kind of put it in the same area we've been putting everything at. Mm -hmm. Orange soda. I'm just going to drink one of these because why not, right? All of that, including the water bottles, I'll go ahead and. I said all of that, including the water bottles, I'll go ahead and put in here. Okay. I was about to say, if I did it again, I was going to be a little mad. 
Oh, my takes a while to move his orange sodas out of there. All right. There we go. We do have another empty bottle. I'm just going to put that in there without filling it. I'm going to fill my water bottle back up because it's getting a little low, as you can see. Okay. So now we have just a battery. Just fit basically anywhere. Some garbage bags, which won't fit anywhere, unfortunately. We're getting full up on storage again. I'm going to have to make a... Make some more, aren't I? Next we got our comic books. And over here we have our non-red magazines, which the good cooking one, I can read just right now to learn how to make bread dough, biscuits, pizza. Do I need wheat for that, or how would I make it? Hmm. Anyway, uh, why don't we go ahead and just smoke one of these? Perfect. Okay. Now I gotta find a place to store my cigarettes and matches. Uh, I suppose I could just store it here with the other stuff that's like simple and really light. That'll work. Okay. Oh, we got some zombies coming in since I was driving like that. Hey, you! Come here! And I uh, got him. Okay, let's see. Can I rip any of this up? Rip clothing, all. Okay, and then you. Not you. I'm gonna grab your corpse. And I'm just gonna dump you here. Oh, you're out of my property? Oh, goddamn. I dummy hit a four. Okay, what's this fresh body got for me? Ooh, some jackets, huh? Perfect. Let's get this last one out of my property. Yep. All right, lady, come here. I really need to make like a gate or something that I can use, but I don't, I don't know. The double door is about the only thing I can make with carpentry. That it like opens and closes. Maybe if I have metal working, I could make a better, like a bigger gate for vehicles, but I just don't know. I just do not know. Let's get the rest of the stuff out of the vehicle here first, though. Start with the gas cans. Okay. I think it might be wise to keep at least one gas can in the vehicle in case we run out. Well, we're not going to run out. Let's let's be honest. Ugh. We will just because I uh, am full at the moment. There we go. Hold on. I said place all, so I wasn't sure if I was going to place all of them there or just one. There we go. Bunch of gas cans lined up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and clean these rags as well. I didn't mean to click one. That's fine. Okay. I do believe that was everything that we have here. Yeah, finding storage is getting uh, a little rough. Perfect. All right. Uh, okay. So. 
let's go ahead and since it's been you know about an hour here we, we could go back out and do some scouting and stuff but I think what we'll do is we'll level up my uh, first aid here quick Make some disinfected bandages. Might as well. Put the disinfectant away. Okay. Let's go do it. This is, uh... Really stupid to do. Unless you're in, like, a really secure place like we are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of the houses over here. I'm gonna choose this one because why not? We're gonna break the window. We're going to remove the broken glass. And we're gonna climb through it. And now we're going to take off our boots. Alright. So ouch, our boot or our feet are full of shards, so we're going to use the tweezers and start taking them out. And we're just going to kind of do this over and over again, because as we do so, it should, as you can see, be leveling up our first aid quite a bit. So, we just keep going. First aid one. Here's first aid two. Let's go, baby. Come on. We're just gonna get first aid too because we need to read another book after that. So, as long as I'm standing on the glass, I'm just gonna keep getting more glass into my feet here. Okay, we're done. Off the glass. Then we're gonna remove the shards. And we're going to bandage the wounds. Okay. Let's just limp away. Go ahead and take some painkillers. I think we need to also sew up our wounds. I forgot about that part. But, uh... Yeah. Eh, eh, come on. Let's get back home. And we will, uh... Better, uh... Finish up our wounds here. Eh. This is why you want to do this at home and not somewhere that's uh, a little bit bad for you. Yes, yes, discomfort, I know. Okay, um... Suture needle. Grab one of these. Do I have thread up here? I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and remove the bandage off one foot and we'll see what we can do. Stitch. Suture needle. Perfect. So let's stitch it up and then we'll go ahead and bandage it. Perfect. Yeah, we do need the other uh, suture here. All right, remove these bandages. And stitch that up. So suture needles are only one at a time, huh? And then we'll use the sterilized bandages once again. There we go. B 
feet are as good as new. Well, more or less, right? There, there's still a bit of a problem with them, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Go ahead and clean these bandages. There we go. And uh, I'll, I'll just hold on these painkillers. Probably going to need them here in a moment. Let's go ahead and equip this. And then let's sleep. Let's just sleep off our uh, our injury here. We're all healed up. Perfect. Love to see it. So now that the uh, now that we have that, we will be able to uh, heal ourselves faster. Our injuries will heal quicker. You know, stuff like that. Go ahead and silence that. All the fucking blood on the ground. God damn. How, uh, if, if I go wash myself, how am I looking? I'm a little bit dirty, and I don't know what the water means. But anyway, I should probably replace this bandage, so... Remove these bandages. Let's go ahead and use... Just use a normal bandage. I think I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble with them, you know, being like this anyway. So let's go ahead and clean the bandage. Perfect. Okay, I don't need any more painkiller. Oh, any more painkiller? So I think we should be good, and we can walk about normal speed now. But uh, I'm not gonna rush myself into, you know running right let's just uh take it a little slow and go from there well let's not eat the bullion cube i'm not a crazy person i need to find a, a huge pot and then i can make the uh like dried kidney beans and stuff uh into a nice little thing i might as well remove and replace this bandage while i'm at it Uh, clean the bandage. Fill water bottle. There we go. All right, our stats are uh, really, really coming together here, as you can see. We're learning new things, having a good time. Do I have first aid too? I do. All right, let's grab that. And then what was the other book that we needed? Foraging, right? Foraging volume two. What other things do I not have right now? Cooking, which I need volume two, which I do not have, unfortunately. Uh, I need carpentry volume three, which we do not have. Um, yeah, that, that's it. That's all I can use right now. Okay. I wish there was like combat related ones here. That'd be nice to have. All right, the, the good magazine that I haven't read yet. We'll take that. So between... Now, next episode, I'm just going to basically have my guy relax. Um, we will read these books, get to know them. I'll probably walk around my own place and just try to level up foraging if I can. Just that way I uh, avoid re-injuring my feet and stuff like that. When we come back, my feet will be healed. I'll have this knowledge queued up and ready to go. And then... We can check out the police station, see if we can score any guns or anything from there. Uh, and that's what the plan will be next time. Until then, bye-bye.